guys so we got a fun one today we have this existing fosk here uh, this wasn't within our uh, network design i found it when testing went to shoot uh, the fibers we connected and yeah they got nowhere they only went 200 meters so i uh, found this fosk down the street we're gonna have to jump in there and push our two ribbons down the street there to our next fox fosk and over to our existing area so yeah, let's go ahead and get in this one. All right, we got the majority of it cut down. We just got to drop the foss down, get in the trailer and go. All right, we're in the foss here. This one's a bit of a doozy. It's a, apparently a 432 stored slack, but for whatever reason, our counts got cut out and are uh, most likely sitting in the basket and sitting up here on spliced. So we're gonna have to pull this fosk apart, determine which two ribbons are ours, get them ran up to tray on the distribution side, splice them through, and that should allow our count to be pushed all the way through to our commercial building that we've been building. Uh, been tying in to connect over the last few days in the recent videos but uh yeah this one's pretty pretty messy and quite the chore i'll tell you guys that one but this is uh fiber optics and when it comes with to problem solve things the light should have made it all the way there it didn't when i shot it we only got 200 and some meters away from the cabinet so i went and did some investigating found this fosk up on the line around that meter mark and yeah sure enough here's our issue so yeah Let's get into this one. We'll get those ribbons run up and we'll splice this and uh, go retest. All right. All right, so we've already determined that our feeder side count is already ran up to tray. Just for whatever reason, the distribution was cut out and uh, not brought to tray. So now we gotta sit here and sort through this uh, storage slab pile of mass, which you can pretty much see there's guaranteed are ones that we're looking for so we'll just work these out of here get them separated Doo -doo. slate tube and a little bit of the white so we'll just knock that off to the side for us for now get this off to the side as well went ahead and already made the tube a little transport tube here so we will find our slate tube right quick and we are going to need orange and green out of here Check, make sure we got them. Green and orange. Nice and simple. Take those. Get them tossed in the transport tube here. Got that off and through. We can sneak this up and around. So, Get the 
tube strap down and we'll put all this fiber back into the basket. One strap is good for now, so we can get this all put away nicely. Like that. This almost can just twirl right back in. case is just sitting so funny today too. Just does not want to sit up properly. That's what we're working with. We can uh, take our additional spare counts here, get them put back into the basket. Velcro we got here. Get that corner together. Throw a couple straps in to secure everything. of it at all. I don't know why guys do this when they know the specs. It's not what we do with these floss. Don't run ribbon and loose tube through the basket. It's not what the customer wants. So now I have to try to sort it out otherwise I get catch the flack for it like I did it. Here. Uh, all right. Oh, 
ribbons back in the basket now. We can finish getting that uh, transport tube strapped in, and then we'll get this thing set up right and get our uh, get our splice machine out and splice these two ribbons. All right, all right, baskets all cleaned up, tubes up here. Just gotta get a couple straps in here and tighten this tube down. Measure to our splice and. Uh, Yeah, we will splice these two ribbons and then that should allow for our pathway to be complete finally. Bears just hanging out right here. jump into this fosk and push some extra counts but uh yeah i'll get the splice machine out we'll zap these two right quick and uh get this thing hung up so we can jump to the testing all right we're all set up here we got our two ribbons of count we want to push first ribbon orange off the gray tube slate tube whatever you prefer get that guy in there Double check, that's orange, yep. Got the ribbon blue, blue count running up. Heating up, oh, we cleave this one. Flips, good to go. Yeah, it's not liking it. Offsets must be a little, a little dusty. It's okay. These repositioned. See how that looks. I don't like this one right here. It's shifting a bit. To see what the uh, estimated loss is. Heat shrink up there. This guy in line. Yeah, it's just a quick little build. Thought you guys would enjoy another storage lock since I ran into another one right after the last one. It's kind of funny. Oh yeah, not bad. Okay, pop that open. Shrink her down. But yeah, so I hope you guys are enjoying it, learning a few things here and there. And yeah, we got plenty more videos to come, lots of jaws to be done. I've been uh, trying to video every location for you guys. Get as much content as possible. 
and uh, yeah, hope you guys are enjoying them. One thing I I keep asking, but I would really appreciate it, is if you guys just smash that subscribe button. If you're learning from the content, enjoying it, anything like that, just click subscribe. It's free, you know, helps the channel out greatly. It'd be pretty cool if we could get this channel to 100,000 subs this year. I'm sure going to push the content out, I'll tell you guys that, so we'll have to wait and see but yeah it does let me know how many of the viewers here are actually uh subscribed in which we're only sitting at about 17 percent of the viewers so it'd be it'd be nice to see that change you know maybe hit a 50 percent or something pretty cool i know if, if even half of you guys just click the subscribe button We'd probably be at like 10,000 subs right now, guaranteed. But regardless, we'll still keep punch, pumping these videos out for you guys. Get this one in there. But this spice in our count should be pushed finally. As long as there's no reburns in the other locations. But We'll find that out here shortly. Oops. That one's nice and done. This one's cooked. Yeah. Come on, there we go. finish up heating get them tossed away throw a couple labels few pictures and we'll hang this one back up there and it's done so yeah that'll probably do it for this one as far as the testing on this one um which i'll be doing right after I, i'm done hanging this location um i'll make that in a separate video just showing the testing right quick um yeah so that'll do it for this one i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah, we'll see you in the next one. All right.